<laughs> I can't believe you guys. I totally can't believe you guys. All of you guys who are in the comments of my last video criticizing Connor Ben for taking on Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, at that catch weight is ridiculous. I mean, a, a, a few of you guys, a, a lot of you guys talking about Connor Ben um, um, not fighting at water weight, uh, fighting at catch weight at 157 against Chris Eubank Jr. Saying that he should be going for the belt at water weight that is meaningless. You guys have lost your minds. You guys have totally lost your minds. You guys are, what's going on with the boxing fan? You say one thing, you mean something else. Conor Ben should be going for the titles at welterweight. What titles? What titles? Don't we want Elder Chu Spence to take on Terrence Bud Crawford in November? That's all the titles. That's for undisputed. What are you talking about? Some regular titles or something? The same type of titles that people criticize Javante Tank Davis for getting? Say Javante Tank Davis is getting the secondary belts, the regular titles. What titles you want? Who should kind of been fight? Bruce Ennis not going to fight him for sure. Virgil, Hitt, Virgil Ortiz not going to fight him for sure. They're not going to even fight each other. So let's talk reality here. Uh, 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 Stanionis, he's going to fight on the undercard of Terrence Bud Crawford versus the Elder Truth Spence come November. So he's not available. What are you guys talking about? So what? Another meaningless fight? Right? We saw him fight uh, Algeri Van Herden. Another one of those? Is that what you guys want? You say you want the best to fight the best. You want some great fights. You don't want a bunch of tune-up fights. That's it. precisely why we criticize Jamal Charlo, right? Every fight he has is a tune-up. So Conor Ben, he decides instead of fighting another just regular guy, another Yahoo meaningless opponent, he decides, well, I can't fight for a, a, a title, a meaningful title. Then let's have a rivalry legacy bout against Chris Eubank Jr. Everybody talk about that fight in the UK. You all talk about that fight, that fight in the UK, right? I mean, this is a fantasy fight pretty much. And it's best to do it now. Chris Eubank Jr. doesn't have too many more prime years left, right? This is absolutely perfect. Conor Ben say he's not worried about the weight. Conor Ben say he knock out super middleweights and middleweights all the time in sparring. Okay? So, I mean, this is it. This is beautiful, right? Roberto Duran jumping up to fight uh, Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Canelo Alvarez, he lost to Bevel. Is that embarrassing for Canelo Alvarez? No. Is th was that embarrassing for Duran? No. Was that insane? Yes. And that's what we want, insanity. This smart, calculated, business savvy fighter, this new Floyd Mayweather era fighter, um, our community, we frown upon that thing, right? Um, you know, everything is, okay, this got to make sense with this guy. How about what makes sense is just gladiating? Look, why take the fight? Because he's there. And my father never beat his father. And the UK, they thirst for it. So let me knock him out. That's why. I'm a fighter. That's why. This is insanity. Everything you we say as boxing fans, this represents that. And all of a sudden, nah, man, uh, uh, fight uh, another D-class fighter for nothing. And then we're going to complain about that. We can't complain about everything. Chris Eubank Jr. going down to 157, taking that risk. Conor Ben fighting up to 157, taking that risk, fighting in their, carrying their father's names is amazing. Sometimes shit is shit is done because you're a gladiator. Yeah, does it make um I, is this what typically goes down? No, not after the Floyd Mayweather era, but that's how it was. Sometimes you just go and whip ass. Sugar Ray Robinson fought Jake Lamada. Jake Lamada came in 30 pounds heavier than him. He still whipped that ass. It doesn't matter, bro. Right? Was Sugar Ray Robinson ever really a middleweight? Uh, not really. Definitely wasn't light heavyweight when he tried that. Henry Armstrong doing what he did. Manny Pacquiao doing what he did. That's what makes him so great. Taking those chances, those risks. We are so used to losing, we don't know when we're winning. I'm out.